shuffle tutorial. So I asked you guys on my Instagram page, which if you don't follow me, rude. Just kidding. I still love you anyways. But you should go do that. I asked you guys what kind of tutorials you wanted to see in my next video. So basically the gist of all of your guys' requests were how to combine moves, move across the floor, make it look more fluid, etc. No like specific move requests other than spins, which is what we're going to go over today. I will show you guys the spin and then I will show you how I would incorporate that into my shuffling, how I would sort of transition into it, out of it, so that you can kind of see not just the move but how I throw it in when I'm shuffling. I'm going to be going over all of the spins that I know and that I do when I'm shuffling. If you have any like specific things you want me to do, learn, teach, comment below. I will start from the most basic and then move on to the more advanced, complex ones that I think are a little bit harder. So let's start with spin number one. I don't know what I'm doing. Spin number one is literally just spinning in place. It looks like this. Pretty simple. So basically all you're doing is doing the running man, but you're spinning in place as you do it. So you're going one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. So if you are going clockwise this way, what you would do if you're in the prep position for the running man, instead of landing it forward in, let's say, position 12, 12 o'clock, you're gonna land it in position like one or two. And you're gonna sort of shift your body to do that. So you're gonna go and two, and two. And then you're gonna come together. And then same thing, instead of landing your right foot in front, you're going to land it in say position four or five. Boom. And you can also kind of rotate when you come together. So if you're at four or five, you can, when you come together, you can come to six. And then you go seven or eight. Boom, boom, boom. Just like your eight o'clock. Boom, 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 boom. Easy breezy. And honestly, sometimes when I'm doing this, I don't do it as exaggerated as the running man. You know, the running man is like boom, boom, boom. It's more of just like a Got a little dizzy. If you're gonna do a lot of that, you might wanna spot. If you don't know what spotting is, this is going to be important for you to know, especially if you're going to do like a lot of spins. All it is is a way to just keep yourself from getting dizzy. If you are turning your body, pick a point on the wall, straight ahead, whatever is in front of you, and as you're spinning, keep looking at that spot until you can't any longer, and then whip your head around back at that spot. With this running man spin, it would be like... How ballerinas do it, you know, they go right? I'll do it this way so you can see better. So it's like something to know, just in case you find yourself getting dizzy. This spin that I just showed you guys, and then land it into shuffling. I'm just gonna go over this briefly, but basically, so you can turn like this, right? You just go out in out in bum and instead as you're turning you just kind of bump your toe up so it would be like bum 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 i just want to go over that quickly because somebody did ask but if you guys want more ballet i mean i haven't done it in forever and i'm really by no means a professional <laughs> but i mean i will teach you if you guys want I'll also teach you guys some tap dance if you want to. <laughs> the next spin is basically the same as the first spin, but instead we are going to be traveling across the floor. So it's going to look like this. So it's stepping out with your left foot and then turning 180 degrees as you come in. Boom. Stepping out with your right foot and then turning 180 again as you come in and then land again. Imagine you're going boom, boom, boom. You just add in the running man as you're doing that. So one and two and three. Again, one and two and three. So you're turning as you're coming up. So kind of like the step out is like the momentum and then bringing your knee in is like 
the actual turn. And then step out and then turn. With count, that would be one and two and three. Again, one and two and three. And you don't have to keep your feet apart, you can bring them in closer. So it could be like one and two and three. The more you step out, the further you're gonna travel, basically. When I'm throwing this into my shuffling, it would probably look something like this, so. To break that down, it would be three counts of the running man, starting with our right leg. So it would be one, two, three. And a couple things I wanna know. I know the way I taught this, you're stepping out, but you don't have to step out, you could step back, you could do like a reverse running man into it, and then turn, boom, boom. You're just trying to prepare yourself for traveling, so step in the direction that you wanna go, and then go that direction. So we were here, this is when we're gonna do the turn. One, two, three, come together, and then back into the running man. Boom, 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 boom. And now you can turn the other direction. Or let's, let's say let's turn across this way. We'll go boom, 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 back into the running man. So all together with the eight counts, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. From the back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. So now let's do it a little bit faster. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kind of added in a few extra running hands there, but you get it. So both those first spins, you can do counterclockwise or clockwise. The next two spins you can do clockwise and counterclockwise as well, but I personally find myself doing them only one way because you know one of my legs is dominant. I just prefer to do a lot of the moves with one of my legs. So I'm only going to be teaching you one way, but of course feel free to do it the other direction with the other leg, whatever feels comfortable for you. The next spin looks like this. I taught it in my Jealous Choreo tutorial. I find that this move is easier to do when you're dancing. It's harder just to do like as a standalone move. So let me show it to you with like shuffling. I'm going to use my right foot and spin counterclockwise. So you're taking a step out. You are going to kick around with your right leg, but actually your left leg is doing a lot of the work. Just practice the step and hopping yourself around. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. You don't have to pick your left foot up much. Just You're just sort of picking up your heel to hop yourself around. So the spin is three counts. Step one, hop and kick and hop yourself around on two and three. One and two and three. And your left foot is hopping on every half count. So you go one and two and three. And then your right foot is just kicking on two. So it's one and two and three. I kind of like scuff the floor when I'm kicking. I go Kind of like that. It's kind of like a boom, boom, boom. So again, that's one and two and three. One and two and three. A lot of the times what you'll actually see me do is a reverse running man. And this is what I did in the Jealous Choreo tutorial. Running man, running man, running man. Back, back, kick, spin. So from the back so you can follow along, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're here, you can just go into the running man again. So let's do that all together with the counts. Five, 
six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, just a little bit faster. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. The next and final spin, I don't even know what to call it, but it's like the spin that Vanessa Seco does all the time. But it looks like this. This one takes a little bit of practice, at least for me personally. So don't feel bad if you can't get it right away. This move is clockwise, at least for me. I'm going to be kicking around with my right leg. So what you're gonna do, and this will be easier when you're doing it faster, so bear with me as we do it together slow. But you're gonna step, you're gonna hop and start to turn, and then you're gonna flick your leg, you're gonna sort of kick it out, and use the momentum to sort of kick yourself around. And again, it's really hard slow, so do your best. If you feel like you want to do try it faster, then try it faster. But I'm just trying to go slow so that I can break down the movements for you guys. So you're stepping to kind of prepare yourself to give that momentum. And then you're going to hop and kick. So hop, kick. And the kick is sort of like a down and up. So it's like boom. Just try going around in a circle and going like this. Hop, kick, hop, kick, hop, kick, hop, kick, hop, kick. And you're kicking on every count. And then you're hopping, spinning on every half count. So again, that's one and two and three and four and five and six. This is when the spotting comes in handy. Again, that's hopping on every and count. And one and two and three and four. And then kicking on every count. And one and two and three and four and five. This move is easiest to throw in with that preparation step. So you step out to sort of give yourself that momentum. One and two. Just practice that. One and two. So step on one, hop on and, kick on two. Just the spin, let's do that together. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three. And just land, just do one spin around and we'll land. Use that step to give you some momentum to throw yourself and throw your leg back. As you saw when I was just trying to kick myself around, it looks difficult and it feels difficult. So use this to help you. So how I would throw this into my shuffling. You definitely can just do one of these to throw it in. You know, just if you're running man, running man, running man, step and turn. But actually what I find to be the easiest is actually like this. I will actually be do the second spin that I taught you and then go in to this kick spin. So what I would do is that first spin is like one and two. And this step is the same as that preparation step that we were just doing to go into the spin. So all together it would look like one and two and spin. So again it would be one and two and three and four. And then go into the running man. All together, let's do that from the back. One and two and three and four. So that was kind of hard to do because we did it slow, but you get what I'm trying to do. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Again, five, six, seven, eight, step out, turn around, kick, and land. And that's really just how I like to throw in that move, and that's what you'll find me doing a lot. I'll do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Practice that spin, practice it just once, and then you'll be able to do it multiple times around. You can do, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, yeah, I'm getting a little dizzy, but you get what I'm trying to say. <sighs> Spinning's hard, dude. That is the end of our spin tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I love that you guys love these tutorials. Your feedback is so helpful. Again, if you have any sort of things you want to see, let me know. I listen. I'm here. I love you guys. Goodbye.